Hey everyone, it's Anna. So I recently purchased this brand new IKEA PAX wardrobe as an addition to uh, the rest of my dollhouse over here. So I'm going to be decorating this and painting it and everything and I thought it might be a good idea to show you guys my kind of process of how I will turn this into an aesthetic doll room. So in this video, I'm going to be mainly focusing on this middle room right here. I'm going to be turning this into a bedroom. And the first step is to paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a pencil to mark off where the shelves are so that I know where I need to paint until. So now I've removed the shelves and you can see the pencil lines. So now I have an outline of where I'm going to paint. So in this middle room, I'm actually doing two colors of paint. So the next step is to just use some painter's tape to section off where I want to paint the different colors. Okay, so now that I've taped off both of the walls, I'm just going to do the rest of the prep, like put some paper down and get the paint ready, and then we're ready to go. Okay, so I painted the two side walls, and um, it does take two coats just so that you don't get any like patchiness or anything. But um, while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the other rooms. Hey everyone, so it is the next day, and I've actually done quite a bit since I last filmed. Uh, I did the second coat on these two navy walls right here, uh, and then I also did uh, two coats on the pink room right here, so that room is done. And then I did the first coat on the bottom right here. So I'm just going to be removing the tape and I'll paint the back wall and then I should be done with this room as well. Okay, I'm so sorry, I forgot to film it, but I finished painting the back wall there. So now that I'm done, I'm just going to put the shelves back in and start working on the furniture. So I went ahead and put the shelves back into the room and I also put in some pieces of furniture just so I could get an idea of what the room is gonna look like at the end. But um, like I said, the next step is for me to actually like furnish the room. So I have this little like jewelry box thing that I bought from Michaels and I'm going to be staining it because I don't really like just like this color that it is right now. Um, so I'm just going to be using this stain and this like old piece of a sock. So I'll take you guys outside and show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm out in my yard now. I just laid down some paper. This is like recycling. Um, so I'm going to open up the stain and get started. So I'm going to be spray painting these bunk beds. I think I mentioned this before, but before I spray paint them, I have to sand the surface so that the paint actually sticks to the bunk beds. So I'm going to be doing that right now. Hey everyone, so I finished spray painting the beds and I think that they look great. As you can see, they're now black, which I think looks a lot better than uh, the yellow color. I think that this is more neutral, which works with the kind of um, color palette that I have going on in my dollhouse. So yeah, I think they look really good. Um, I'm sorry I didn't film any of it just because I started spray painting them really late at night, so it was really dark out. And then when I finished it the next day, um, it was really hot and I just didn't feel like filming. But I will say that it took about two coats of the spray paint to do. And here is the spray paint that I use. I just got this at like the hardware store. So um, you should be able to find one that would work. It kind of has like a flat finish, so it's like matte. It's not super shiny. But um, yeah, I think they look really good and I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. So the bunk beds were kind of a big thing that I needed to get out of the way for this room. But um, now that they are done, I'm going to start working on some more of the like detail pieces, I guess. So I have this little container that I got from Michaels and I'm going to be staining it the same color that I did the dresser in so that it all kind of like matches and is cohesive. But um, yeah, I'm going to work on that right now.
So while I'm waiting for the stain to dry, I'm gonna work on some bedding for the bunk beds. They actually came with these mattresses and pillows, which is great, but I need to make the actual covers and some throw pillows. Like for example, I made this throw pillow a few days ago when I was bored, so it's kind of just gonna be more of the same for the rest of the bedding. I did already pick out some fabric that I think is gonna look nice, so let's just head over to my sewing room and get started. So this is my sewing area, and here's the fabric I'm gonna be using for the bedding. I chose this fabric with some little like, um, plant leaves on it I think it's really cute and then I'm also going to be using just this plain white fabric for the inside and here's like the mattress from the bunk beds that I'm kind of going to be using uh, as a guide for when I sew So now the edges on the blankets are completely finished and you're done. So here are the pillows that I made so far. I think that they look pretty good. Um, I might make some more like tomorrow or in the future, but this is what I have so far. And I also just wanted to show you guys, I'm adding these little vines to like the footboard of the bunk bed. Um, this is really easy to do. I'm just using like this floral wire that I got from Michaels and this little fake plant that I have. I'm pulling the leaves off of it and hot gluing it to the vine. And yeah, I'm just kind of twisting it around the bed to make it look like the vines are growing up the footboard. So now that the bed is mostly done, I'm gonna work on this little bench thing that I stained earlier and I am going to make a little cushion to go on top of it. I kind of want this area to be like just a little sitting area and I'm gonna put like a window over here so that it looks like the dolls can sit and like look out and read or something. So I'm gonna add some cushions onto here and probably some books underneath. So I finished the little bench and I actually ended up hot gluing down the little cushion here just so that uh, it wouldn't move around when I was filming and stuff. And I made some little pillows to go on top of it so that it looks super cozy. But anyways, now I'm just going to make some little things to go underneath in here in this little storage area. And then we will move on to more of the little details of the room. Okay everyone, so I finally finished with the little bench here. Um, I put some little pieces of some sweater knit fabrics down here to look like little blankets. And then I made this little storage box out of some cardboard and scrapbook paper. And I think it looks really cute. It looks like they just have some uh, extra blankets underneath and everything when they want to get extra cozy. But now that this bench is done, all of the main furniture pieces are finished. So now we get to work on my favorite part, which is all the little details. So now I'm going to work on some of the wall art of the room and I have these little posters that I made. I just found these little pictures on Google and then I glued some wooden dowels to the top and bottoms and I also have those little pieces of twine on top to hang them up. And fun fact, I actually have these same posters in my own bedroom. Anyways, I'm going to hang these up and I will show you what that looks like. So I just printed out some more posters. I got these off of Pinterest and now I'm just going to cut them out and stick them on the wall. So I'm going to be making some macrame plant holders for the room. As you guys can see, I have these little mini terracotta pots that I painted. I'm just going to be using some string to make the holders. They're super easy and you can find a ton of great tutorials here on YouTube on how to make them. So yeah, let's just get started. Thank you. 
So here's what mine looks like now that I'm done. I think it turned out really cute. Um, like I mentioned before, there's lots of great tutorials here on YouTube to learn how to do this and you can also make like tons of variations with different knots and things. But I'm keeping it pretty simple and I'm just going to go with this. But yeah, now you can just add a little plant and hang it up. So I'm almost done with the room as you guys can see, but one area that I decided that I wanted to change is this little area above the top bunk. I'm just not really liking the posters that I put up, so I decided to make a little shelf for it instead. I just cut this like paint stir stick that I have, I cut these using a saw, and now I'm just going to glue these pieces together, and then I will stain it the same color as the little bench and the little dresser, and I think that, that will look better than the posters. So I finished decorating the shelf as you guys can see, I added some books and things on it and then I made this little star garland using some star shaped beads and jewelry wire and then I also added these photos on top. But now that I've changed that, there's nothing else in the room that I want to fix so I think I'm actually done. I also just wanted to say that I have started editing this video already and I've noticed that it's kind of all over the place so my apologies for that. I filmed this video over kind of a long period of time so I would kind of just pull out my camera whenever I was doing something for the room and it didn't end up looking as clean as I wanted to like it's a bit choppy but I hope you guys still enjoy it nonetheless. Also, I did end up making a few changes to the room that I haven't showed you guys yet so I'll include some clips of it at the end. And there are a few spots where I accidentally chipped the paint on the wall, so I'm going to fix that. But other than that, I am done with the room.